Paradise City by Guns N' Roses is a song I'm talking you through today. If you could like and subscribe, that will help me out tremendously. And if you'd like the notation or just help support this channel, I'll leave a link below also. Like all my tutorials, I'm gonna play the main sections. We're just gonna talk about the main sections in this video today, or in this song. Um, I'm gonna play the main sections up to speed, and then we'll break it down super slow together with on-screen notation, so you know exactly what's being played. So the main groove uh, that basically starts this track after that little guitar intro, it's four bar pattern, have a listen, sounds like this. So this is nice and easy. Uh, we've got a flam on the two and the four on the snare drum. Remember a flam is both hands together, one hand slightly in front. So if we do both hands together, it just sounds like that, doesn't really sound like much. You want one hand slightly in front to give it that fat, beefed up kind of sound. Yeah, it's gotta be really epic, this intro. Uh, regards to the kick, uh, we've got the kick on the one and the and of the two. Um, I think the best way to help you remember and get this first groove is to go, I like cream cakes, I like cream cakes, I like, I like, I like cream cakes. Nice and easy. Or you could count it, one, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One, one, two, one, two, three, and four. Let's do that again, even slower. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and again. One, two, three, and four. Third bar, one, two, three, four. Last bar, one, two, three, and four. It's nice and easy to hear that rhythm. Throughout this track, it's constantly building. So what we're gonna do for this next section, we're pretty much gonna do the same kind of rhythm, but we're gonna add a crash on beat one. And on the fourth bar, we've got a syncopated bass drum pattern. Have a listen, sounds like this. three bars are exactly the same as what we've already done, but we're gonna add a crash on beat one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And again, one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And then the, the, the bass uh, and the snare are exactly the same um, as the first section we looked at. But the second time round, you've got the syncopated bass pattern and it goes one, two, three, and a three, and a four. Boom, ba, boom, 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 ba. That's quite syncopated. Bass, snare, bass, 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 snare. Let's do it again. Three, and four, and bass, snare, bass, 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 snare. One, two, three, and a three, e and a four. So we've got a bass on the one, bass on the da of the two, the e of the three, the da of the three, and on the, obviously a snare on beat four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and a three, e and a four. And again, with this crash on beat one, one, two, three, and four, and one, and a three e and a four and then it repeats itself the bass drum does very little bit like i said it goes from uh, the first time around it plays exactly the same as the very beginning four bar section uh bass snare 
bass snare and then the second third fourth time around does this syncopated part uh, but it's quite easy to hear once you've listened to it and worked it out then we get to the kind of verse section we've got a trashy open hi-hat have a listen sounds like this So what we've got here, I'm going to keep the hi-hat close for now, we've got seven bars of that rock beat with that slightly syncopated kick in between the four and the and of the four. So we're going to go slowly, one and two and three and four and. The four E and is going to be the section that will possibly give you the most kind of jip, if you like, uh, out of the whole bar. So let's just do that. 4E e and, we're gonna go, 4E e and, and again, go, 4E e and, and again, go, 4E e and, both foot right, both foot right, and again, both foot right, one more, both foot right. Let's do the whole bar a couple more times, three and four and, one and, two and three and four e and one and two and three and four e and and again like i said open the hi-hat get a nice trashy rock kind of sound after the seven bars we've got a two four bar two four means two beats in a bar two quarter notes in a bar we're used to four uh, in most contemporary music one two three four so in this case it's one two and then back into the four four bar for that two four bar it's simply one and two and one and two and and then we've got these two bars that lead back into the first for the second time it goes one two three four and a one and a two and a three four and and for the four and, you can either do snare and floor tom together, you can do both hands on the snare, just make it really big. So then two bars again. Incidentally, the, the four E and a, um, on that uh, second but last bar, four E and a, you can do like a little buzz. Four E and a, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Okay, so that whole two bars, the last two bars will go one, two, three, four E and a, one, Three, four, and let's do the last two bars again. Three and four and one, two, three, four e and a one e and a two e and a three, four and. If you're not comfortable with buzzing, literally to buzz the stick, you just need a nice loose grip of your fingers. Let the stick pivot and just get that four e and a literally right, left, and on that left buzz it. But if you're not comfortable with buzzing, just play it like hand to hand, just play it without the buzz, it doesn't matter. And then we go to the chorus section. Uh, we're just gonna play four bars here and just loop these four bars. Have a listen to what it sounds like. It goes like this. So you can play this on the ride cymbal. We're gonna go the first part, it's exactly the same as what we've just done in the verse. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and, and then the same again. One and two and three and four and. Then we've got a couple of crashes. One and two and three and four and. And the last bar of out of crash, three and four and one and two and a three and a four and and again two three four one and two and a three and a four and let's go from the two we're gonna go two and a three and a four and 
and again. Two and da, three e and da, four. One more from the two. Here we go. Two and da, three e and da, four. Whole bar last time round with the crash on beat one, three and four and one and two and da, three e and da, four. And then we get to, I guess, the most exciting part of the song for us drummers. We get this epic drum fill. It's at four minutes 35 into the track. Have a listen, goes like this. So the first part we're going to go, crash, two, three, four, and left foot. Now the left foot, now this is quite tricky coordination wise because the left foot from the second bar is literally playing one and two and three and four and while your hands and feet are playing 16th note triplets. Let's not worry too much about the left foot. Let's just get the stick in first of all. So the first bar, one, two, three, four and, and then we're going to go snare high kick floor high kick floor high kick floor high kick snare high kick floor high kick floor high kick floor high kick now for this i would literally just practice to start with just going right left kick on the snare drum right left kick right left kick right left kick right left kick and just build that coordination up loop and gradually get it quicker. And then you can put it on your toms. So let's just try them two bars from them 16th note triplets slowly. Lucas say two, three, go. Snare high kick, floor high kick, floor high kick, floor high kick. Quite tricky. And then the last bar, very syncopated. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and. Even slower. Three, four, and. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and. That's tricky as well. That's, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, once you've got this, you can use it in so many, certainly that, um, that triplet 16th note feel, you can use it in so many kind of rock fill ideas. Um, yeah, really, really will help you. Um, once you've got through that epic drum fill section, um, we're near the end of the track. We've got one section to go, which is the double time fill section. Quite tricky on your bass drum. Have a listen, goes like this. We have got a half time kind of feel. You can go crazy once you've got this groove. You can add crashes and, and fills and just really rock it up. The bar is based around that, this rhythm. We're going to go one E and two E and three E and a four E and. Even slower. Two, three, go. One E and two E and three E and a four E. And let's break it down bit by bit. The first bit we're going to go one E and and again go one E and one more go bass bass snare then beat two we're going to go two E and exactly the same and again go two E and and then we get to beat three we're going to go three E and da kick kick snare Kick and again, two, three, four, three, E and a. One more, two, three, four, three, E and a. And then we get to beat four, right foot both. And again, 
go for E and and again go for E and whole bar three four one E and two E and three E and da four E and and then open the hi hat add your crashes just go absolutely crazy. Um, so yes, that is pretty much the main sections in this song. There's obviously other crashes and occasional drum fills and things here and there, but that is the bulk of this song. So thanks for watching, guys. Have some fun. See you soon.